Hello again. It's Wednesday, May 8th, 2024. This is Journal TV and I'm Jerry Clark. It's time for the news. Fire broke out on a portion of the former Panasote building in Iron Gate on Monday afternoon, and area fire departments rushed to the scene to contain the damage. One source told the Allegheny Journal that a propane tank was most likely the cause. An Iron Gate resident reported that two explosions were heard. Matt Garten, chairman of the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors and the property's lesser, thanked the EMS crews for their fast action to hold down the damage. There's video of him speaking right now on AlleghenyJournal.com. Allegheny County Administrator Reed Walters reported that the pad site is now 70% graded and that the Jackson River Scenic Trail Phase 5 engineer is designing a new wall for Department of Environmental Quality approval. The supervisors will hold a budget work session next Tuesday at 6 p.m. at Lowmore. A $4,600 grant from the No Kid Hungry Virginia program will be used by the Allegheny Highlands Public School Division to purchase insulated cargo containers and coolers for the summer food service program. According to one source, 9% of Virginia children under 18 live in households with limited access to nutritious food at some point during the year. The summer food program provides free breakfast and lunch to children 18 and under here. A small but neat part of the city of Covington's push to continuously upgrade the downtown area is the construction of its pocket park adjacent to the big love sign. Covington City Manager Alan Dressler told the Allegheny Journal that the city hopes to have the park project done by June 1st and that this nice fountain should be in operation by that time as well. And now a word from our sponsor. Both Covington City Manager Alan Dressler and Allegheny High School freshman Elijah Halderman addressed the City Council on Tuesday night on a variety of issues. Halderman expressed thanks for his recent experience in learning about city operations. Dressler updated the Solons on several local issues. Video of both is now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Allegheny County Covington Sheriff Kyle Moore gave the Covington City Council some updates on his office happenings on Tuesday evening, then noted that he wanted about $200,000 to purchase some new patrol cars to stop a leasing program, and that four more deputies are needed. Video of his complete presentation is now available on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. Allegheny County Supervisor Steve Bennett had an idea to recognize all students here for helping to make the first year of school consolidation successful. Students will get ice cream and tokens of appreciation and recognition for their role. On Tuesday evening, the Allegheny County Board of Supervisors voted to authorize the county administrator to spend up to $7,800 on the program, noting that the city of Covington would reimburse the county for its share based upon student numbers. The Allegheny Journal will have more on this item later. Covington citizen Mary Haynes still isn't happy with some current operations at the former Edgemont Elementary School building. 
and businessman Brandon Wright supplied the Covington City Council with details on a proposed land abandonment. Both speakers appeared Tuesday evening, and video of both is available now on the Allegheny Journal's Facebook page. And we'll be right back. Pre-planning a funeral presents a loving and considered gift to your family. Making decisions now provide a framework for future choices. We invite you to stop by the funeral home. Let us answer any questions you may have about pre-funding or pre-arranging a funeral service. And now for regional obituaries. Adlin Perry, an infant of Covington, passed away Thursday. Kai Van S., eight years old of Covington, passed away Friday. Edwin Freeman, 84 of Mountain Grove, passed away on Saturday. And Eva Gilkison, 39 of Lewisburg, died on Saturday. More information on all obituaries may be found on AlleghenyJournal.com. And let's check out the local weather forecast. On Thursday, there should be morning rain and scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon. High of 82 and a low of 61. On Friday, partly cloudy. High of 66 and a low of 50. And on Saturday, partly cloudy with showers later in the day. High of 68 and a low of 51 degrees. And that's the way it is on Wednesday, May 8, 2024. More stories, photos, videos, and interviews are available 24-7, 365 on AlleghenyJournal.com, YouTube, and on our Soaring Facebook page. Thanks very much for watching Journal TV. We belong to you. We belong to you. Want a car loan with a little get up and go? Our credit union offers quick loan approvals and great rates. Our loans get you on the road fast because we belong to you. Jackson River Community Credit Union. We belong to you. Online at jacksonrivcomcu.org. We're federally insured by NCUA. We're an equal housing lender. We belong to you.